Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to source for the latest in music industry news and celebrity gossip. Today, we're diving into the juicy details surrounding Central C, his former girlfriend, Madeline Argy, and the recent rumors about Ice Spice. If you're into the hottest celeb news, make sure to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe for more exclusive content. Madeline Argy, Central C's ex, recently took to TikTok to share her side of the story. She revealed that she was kept in the dark about the rapper's actions, even participating unknowingly in his so-called marketing scheme. Madeline expressed her frustration, saying she felt deceived and realized why dating rappers can be so challenging. You guys caught us, it was all PR. I hope that you enjoyed the video that dropped at midnight last night. I know I did. I know I enjoyed going to the club and going to the set. And I know that I definitely saw that video before anyone on here did. Yeah, no, obviously not. Girls, you told me to stand up, so I'm standing up. Let me tell you how I did not know that any of this was gonna fucking happen. Let me take you guys back a couple months. I'm laid up in bed with Pookie and he comes to me and he's like, I have a new song to show you. And I'm like, yes, serenade me. I'm like ready to hear some poetry. And then he plays me his verse. I'm like, what the fuck? Not only did you just snitch on yourself that you're cheating, but you just told me exactly how. Give me your fucking phone. Are you telling me ZK Trappy 69 with the wet emoji is not your childhood friend? He tells me it's just marketing and I know how the internet works, so I just forget about it. A while later, he tells me that he wants to hire an influencer to do like a lip syncing video to one of his older songs. And I'm like, okay, makes sense. Then he's like, I'm going to send her a car because she asked for one. I was like, okay, makes sense. He didn't tell me he was sending her his personal car to start a dating rumor with her. I was with you guys, knees deep in that comment section, asking if we were still together. I tried to have a conversation with him about it, and all he kept saying was, All right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but seriously. <laughs> but seriously, I actually tried to understand what was going on, and nothing. At this point, I'm starting to realize, Oh, this is why girls don't date rappers. So I call my team and they're like, Madeline, he just started a dating rumor with another girl. Aren't you supposed to be going to Nigeria with him in two days? This is going to be multiple parts. Sorry. And this is when it clicks. This is not a vacation. I have just entered this man's marketing scheme. So I say I'll still come to Nigeria based on the one condition that none of the professional pictures that are taken of us get posted because I've just realized what is happening and I don't want to be seen with this guy. I understand that rapper boyfriend has promotional activity to do. I just don't want to lose the last shred of my dignity. Shocker, the pictures get out. Guys, if I had known I was going to be photographed like that, I would have put on some fucking concealer. Learned the fucking lesson from the jet skis. Although I actually clearly didn't learn anything. So now I'm seeing these ugly pictures of me come out. I'm getting flamed by my friends and my work is calling me, Madeline, we told you not to do one thing. Get photographed with him. So you guys remember the song? I then remember he also gave me a release date for the song and I'm realizing that it's only like a month and a bit away and that this Lagos incident was not a coincidence and I am knees deep in this guy's plot. I didn't want to be seen with him for like as long as possible before this song drops because I want to be as far away from that conversation as humanly possible. The girlies are fucking laughing at me, like I cannot take another public humiliation. So I ask him for a conversation because I want to break up with him, and he's like, I can see you on the 1st of July for this conversation. And I thought that was weird because it was in the middle of June, but he was doing his first ever headline shows. 1st of July rolls around and he is begging to see me, like he is adamant that he has to see me that exact day, but I'm kind of busy, I'm with my friend. Anyway, he ends up calling me at 11pm at night and he's like, I need to see you tonight. And I'm like, why are you so desperate? He's like, because you need to remember that I'm a human being when you see what you're going to see tomorrow. I am this close to calling the fucking police because that is a threat. He has had no direct access to me ever since that phone call. I'm thinking that this conversation is going to be our love, our relationship. So tell me why 10 hours later he's posted up with a fucking patty. Guys, imagine you break up with your boyfriend one night and the next day he is posted up with Ice Spice and Chrome Hearts. I didn't even actually get to break up with him and he's already with the next girl. He gave me not even like 12 hours notice before he was being filmed in Chrome Hearts with her. The flight from America is 12 hours. She was already on the fucking plane. If woman to woman, what did he get you from Chrome Hearts? Because all I ever got was a dang dog meat. So yet again, I am in the comment section with you guys. Such is a bop. This is four days until my birthday. When I saw him in her comment section like that, I tweeted so fucking bad, I was gonna put this screenshot on my story. 
I thought rapper boyfriend was at least considerate enough to let me have my birthday week and then I see them at the club on the 6th of July my birthday's on the 7th you guys remember when he made me pay for my own birthday ticket into the zoo at least I woke up to something better this year that is why my friends had to turn up to my house in gorilla suits the day of my birthday because I had just woken up to a video of him with a big booty body in the club he literally had to drag me out of my fucking house this man has since emailed me called me called my mum, tried to follow my friends on instagram you get the gist so it wasn't that much of a surprise when i get a call from his team and it's a girl on the end of the phone saying first and foremost i'm a girl's girl cough twice if he is holding you hostage otherwise i need you to put down the phone so his team is calling me trying to convince me to have a conversation with him and they're trying to tell me like he had no control over this and i'm trying to get the point across it doesn't matter if he had control or not why the fuck was i told 12 hours before it happened i'm going insane because all i'm seeing is comments being like how could she condone this this is so embarrassing for her like why would she let her man act like this guys i wasn't i never agreed to this no one told me i did not know about this in the way that you guys thought i did but i also haven't watched the video yet so if you want to see a live reaction it will be on my podcast all right the rumors about central c and ice spice gained traction with the release of the did it first music video Ice Spice's verse hinted at a possible romantic connection with lyrics like, If he cheating, I'm doing him worse. Central C's verse further fueled speculation as he rapped about being selective and deleting messages. Adding more fuel to the fire, Ice Spice and Central C were recently spotted together in London. They were seen shopping at a high-end fashion store, laughing and even riding in a white Lamborghini SUV. This sighting has fans buzzing about their potential relationship. So what do you think? Is this all just a clever marketing scheme? Or is there something more between Ice Spice and Central C? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Re-Up. Until next time, stay tuned for all the latest celebrity gossip and music news.